This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 20, verses 11 to 18. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. But Mary stood outside the tomb, weeping. As she wept, she now to look into the tomb and saw two angels sitting there, dressed in white, one at the head, the other at the foot of where Jesus' body had been laid. They said to her, "Woman, why do you weep?" They took my master," she said, "and I don't know why they put him." After she said this, she turned away and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't recognize him. Jesus spoke to her, "Woman, why do you weep? Who are you looking for?" She. thinking that he was the gardener said sir if you took him tell me where you put him so i can care for him jesus said mary turning to face him she said in hebrew rabboni meaning teacher Jesus said, "Don't cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go to my brothers and tell them, I ascend to my Father, and your Father, my God, and your God." Mary Magdalene went, telling the news to the disciples. "I saw the Master," and she told them everything he said to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to Saint John, chapter twenty, verses eleven to eighteen. We reflect on Mary Magdalene's resurrection experience yet again. John narrates that she saw two angels at the place where Jesus' body was placed. Although his body is absent, John says. One of the angels was facing the head and the other faced the feet of Jesus. Try to recall the image of the two angels guarding the mercy seat of the holy of holies in the temple. The mercy seat represents God's invisible presence in the temple and God's presence in the world. With the stone rolled back, the holy of holies is empty. God in Jesus had exited the tomb to be available to the whole world this image of the empty tomb as an emptied holy of holies is similar to the image of the tearing of the temple veil recorded in the gospel of matthew mark and luke mary turned away from the tomb and saw jesus outside in the garden but mistook him to be the gardener we are in the new garden of eden This garden is where new life is born. Mary is turning around and what she was about to see would turn upside down everything the world had known so far. The movement to the Easter faith requires turning one's back on all the previous assumptions and world views. As in the first garden where there was a prohibition do not eat Here in the new garden there is an additional prohibition too do not touch me a clarician missionary father paulson willinor in his reflections on this passage writes the new prohibition corrects the temptation to grab divinity by force instead of receiving it in gratitude Jesus sent Mary as the first apostle to the disciples to tell them about his ascent to the Father. 
his disciples deserted him at his passion but now he calls them brothers despite them deserting him he had not deserted them during the last supper jesus said to his disciples no longer do i call you servants i call you friends but now he says i no longer call you friends i call you my brothers if eve the first parent brought the disastrous news to adam mary now brings the good news of redemption to the disciples do we recognize our brother jesus not only in our prayers and in the reception of the holy eucharist but also when he walks by our side in the lives of our brothers and sisters around us and in the ordinary events and circumstances of life